We got nothing. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got. No. Oh. All right. So I, I taught Martha how to do everything today. So yes, if, this, I if know. this show is really bad, it's because he didn't teach me very well. It's Martha's fault. So. Uh, are you joining us, Jim Graham? I am. Well, in the, in the meantime, hi, and welcome to DTLT today. Um, Timmy Boy isn't here today because he's, I don't know, he's got some lame excuse about, moving. about not being here. So we're going to try to do our best yeah, without, without, without him. him. I um, picked a different background because I didn't feel right using Tim's yeah, background. Yeah, I feel like I'm kind of in this without him like here. spider web thing. Don't do that because your pants, you're making. My pants what? Your pants. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We won't talk hey, about your a pants. party's not okay. a party without me. So people. if I stand up, you're saying that it'll, it'll probably do something on my pants. Did somebody yeah, say same. something about Timmy Boy? Does he Timmy still work Boy. here? I'm Timmy who? I don't who? know. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a week, so um, we of course I haven't been here for weeks. We are, yeah, where have you been? <laughs> we obviously don't need him to do DTLT today. Yeah. Because this is DTLT today. That's what right you're now. listening to yeah. and watching. And yes. it's and it's going to be great. So what are we talking about today? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Here, let me help you with that. <laughs> well, I could do that while you're telling people what we're no, really. talking about. No, really. I'm oh. not good. We say we do <laughs> blogging. Yeah, there it is. All right, now we're here. Why do blogs suck? We don't know what we missed ass. in the past. Yeah, we don't know what it's been and what has. It doesn't matter. Probably ever since we put This is what happens when Tim isn't here. No, don't say that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's yeah. going to get a big head now. All right, what, why do blogs suck? Why Can do blogs suck? And you're what like, we mean kind of by that me is, is basically, <laughs> you're okay. what we mean by that is basically, why are blogs and higher ed all the same? It's like, I'm going to blog about my little class, I'm going to write my little reflection, <laughs> and I'm going to do my little thing, and nothing really, it's like, students don't care yeah. about it. It's like notebook for a class they never wanted to do. Well, and faculty members come in here, and they're like, I want to use blogs. Right. Right. And then you say, well, what do you want to do with blogs? Well, I'm going to have them read an article a week and write yeah. a reflective piece. I heard they were really cool. Blah, blah, blah. And then blah. my are students using. are going to comment. Yeah, I heard they were interesting. Could you show and a lot me of times the what they write is kind of dry, yeah. not terribly engaging. Exactly. And then they wonder, why aren't people commenting? That's right. And then they say, oh my gosh, the stuff you're doing in DS106 or whatever cool stuff I'm yeah. doing at that time, they're like, I could never do that. Why? Why can they never do that? Well, because they're they not suck. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they also they'll go, well, that works for DS106. Is but. this supposed to be constructive, <laughs> this, this little show today? I don't know. <laughs> or is this just kind of a rant? Listen, I didn't hear that part. If you don't want to suck, do something other than prescribe okay. blogging. What other things can we do? Like, well. what's a way to construct blogging in a classroom that actually doesn't suck? Like, what if you do want them to be, you know? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we talked about this earlier, right, Andy? And I don't want to step on your toes. Is there anything you have to? Well, I'm keeping my toes away from you, so <laughs> go okay. ahead. Are you sure? You don't want and to his shells. No, go ahead. <laughs> tell, tell, tell people what I talked about, because I don't remember what I talked about. Well, morning. you actually didn't talk about this. I just wanted to make sure you didn't want to say anything before I made my good point. <laughs> <laughs> you could associate it to me, and then people would think I was brilliant. That's right. Okay, but then, then they would know then the then, truth. Could yes. you just get on with it? Yeah, we've got Anyway, we only have left. 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, Okay, the point being is this. You want to do something else? Well, then experiment with your site for the, for the, for the course, for the love of God. You have a, a, a work, a book, whatever you've done a million times, and the paper tried and true, and the reflection, da-da-da. Don't say, look, do a reflection with audio. Do a reflection as a narrative in that style, um, whether it be video. Like, integrate and infuse your class with a whole different series of approaches to what we've understood as the traditional kind of read and reflect. And that's often so specifically linked to reading a particular textual document, whether it be a novel, journal article, you name it, history, etc. And then reflecting in the same way with the kind of written one page, this is what I like, this is what I didn't. I just don't think it's inspired at all. That does sound yeah. something like I would, you say, would say, though, yeah. just so you know. I think I've always liked you <laughs> a lot. That was brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> What are you doing after the show? <laughs>
Let's talk about that later. Martha? I think it's also really good to encourage them to write or reflect in whatever media they use in their own voice, in a way mm. that's real mm -hmm. and authentic to them. That's because right. I, what I see a lot on, st on student blogs is them trying to use a kind of voice that yeah. they have used in scholarly papers or the traditional essay, yeah. and it just kind of falls flat on their blog. And, yeah. and, and because they're working in a media-rich environment, make it a requirement or encourage them to be using other kinds of media within the context of what they're writing. You know, That's whether right. it's embedding videos, images, audio, audio it's uh, finding other resources that they can use. How many students were blown away by audio? Because audio is a lot less work in some yeah. ways than video, yeah. but how much they could do an experiment with, like a student from DS-106 May, who you had, yeah. Mike, Send me a whole series of his bumpers for DS-106 Radio that I never yeah. heard because he was so fired up about yeah. what he could do. Right. And I was like, wow, great. You know what I mean? And that was when he had asked me for the full show. But the point... Because I kept forgetting you Yeah, because you, you didn't actually... <laughs> that's why I had to clean up your mess. Didn't the follow through. Is that um, what you're saying? But the, the point being this is, you know, if that's the case, and if we're looking at the idea of how do we make this stuff kind of... I don't want to say dig the whole digital native stuff is not, but I want to say native to the platform, right. native to the way in which people in the world in which it's it. yeah the ecosystem in which it exists. Then why aren't they linking more? Patrick right. Murray John always used to say this, and he was right. No one's linking. No one's yeah. encouraging anyone to link yeah. anywhere. Yeah. And that's the backbone of the yeah. web. How do we encourage faculty and students to link? to write in their own yeah. voice, which is key, because for how long have we been drilled into us, don't use an I in anything yeah. Yeah, that's right, a yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's thrown out the window with the internet. Yeah. Well, and I think maybe there are other ways to construct assignments that sort of push sort of a conversational um, engagement with a piece. Like, yeah. what if instead of saying, okay, everybody's going to blog this week, and then you're all going to read each other's blogs and comment, you say, okay, this half the class I want you to do some kind of media reaction to this piece. And the other ones, I want you to write a post that's a reaction to their reaction. That's right. You know, so that the, pra so that the assignment itself it underpins the practice of linking. Oh, how about this? Yeah, I like or that. Or do like a round robin. Round robin, like yeah. this, you five students are going to do an audio reaction right. as a group. Yeah. And that's the whole thing, that quick, rapid ra yeah, prototyping, yeah. too. You do five, do it as a video, whatever. They'll right. hate you. Yeah. You know, you do it as a series of images. Inge images, yeah. Like, the whole idea that what we've done with DS-106 at DTLT couldn't be um, translated into these other classes is nonsense. Because what we're doing actually, and the more people say, I'm confused, but I think it's cool, but what are you doing? It's like, no. What we're doing is actually germane to the process of thinking about how the right. work we do is more relevant to the work. By the way, both of you are doing a great job. Thanks. So, Thanks. But, but you know, to, get, to, to get to the point that you're talking to get about, to the, point. the process, <laughs> right. the process is, is really all about what we want to sh see. And I think that's why people are intimidated by the video, right. the audio, the imaging, the, the projects that the people in, in DS-106 yeah. did, and they're scared of it. And, and I don't think they have to necessarily be scared of it. They just have to do whatever the process is to get their message out. Right. Um, yeah. They don't have to create a great product at the right. end. That's they just the have to talk about and discuss and have these conversations about how they work through it. And right. if it was something really simple, yeah. work through that right. and describe how they went through that, the steps that they went through, the difficulties right. that they had. And that conversation is as valuable. And um, sometimes even discipline. just have, even if yeah. they can't complete the media assignment, <clears throat> having them just describe what they would have done yeah. if they could have completed it can be as meaningful on a meta level as, as completing it itself. Right. Another idea I've had is, you remember like a couple years ago, that whole idea of like the Google jockey that you would have in class, who yeah, would be a right. student who mm -hmm. would kind of like, mm -hmm. yeah. so, but what if you had like a blog jockey where like every week two students, they don't write, but what their job is, is to read what everybody else is re writing and synthesize yeah. it into a post that's all links. It. It's all linking back like um, and that's finding great. the connections. And so every student yeah. is required once a semester to be responsible for making that synthesis happen. I like that. And, and it, hopefully that starts to, you know, now a couple of problems fold into the rest. We're going to have, if we do this at DTLT or UMW, is A, you're not going to be able to do this across all assignments in a class. Right. You know, it's going to have to be bits and pieces, which begs the question, why would students need a whole blog right. just for that? For that. You know, right. you want to make it interesting blogging, which begs a larger question that I think we at UMW have to deal with and deal with now because we're at that tipping point or whatever you want to call that point where we have enough here to make it. So why don't students have blogs and start thinking about them as 
notebooks for several classes right. that right. they do and start right. using the tags and categories and us pushing that with the faculty and departments yeah. and the ones we work with like this will not be the only class they do this blog for give them a tag give them a category and start using that yeah. feed machine yeah. intelligently well and another way if you want to turn that on its head is what my student Dana in my May term class has been doing for the last couple of years where she actually has a number of blogs that she's used for different projects and different classes she has one blog where she's mapped her own domain which is feeding in everything from all those others. Mm -hmm. So she's taking complete control of a portfolio of her work and allows those different courses to live in their disparate locations. Awesome. But at wi on, you know, whenever she wants, she can pull more content. But how content awesome in. is it that there's a student there doing that? Like, I and that would was like her that idea. That be, was all Dana's idea, right? Yeah. I would love that to be like, that's what we're that's showing. That's a new portfolio. Yeah. yeah. And that's why, yeah, don't think about blogging has to be everything and the scholarly voice goes out the window. Yeah, right. But for so many of these projects that you want to experiment with right. as a professor, which is the key, yeah. you've got to let go and let that space be theirs and also let them do it in certain points, not everything. Right. So I think you know part of us coming into to the university, I think we really need to push that students have this domain, this space mm -hmm. right, that they control. And we've stuff we've been talking about forever, but we're at the point now where we can make it happen. You know what I mean? And I just wish, and I know we don't have much time, but one of the things I wish we would work on and with Curtis and whoever other programmers out there, just to make the feeding that much easier. Yeah. Just right. to make the tagging that much more organized. Right. Just to make some of these things that much easier. Because we just have to get the rid model of a few of those out. little humps that yeah. I mean, trip just, people up. Just today I'm talking with a faculty member about feed WordPress and, and still trying to ha imagine them trying to wade through that and that's yeah. tough and I think you're right well ultimately we usually have to be we have to um, you know we have to hold their hands through that process because mm -hmm. it isn't quite to that part right. point yet where and of course Andy doesn't want to do that no. he's I don't he's, like holding people I don't like says, helping people he, in he likes to say <laughs> holding hands his favorite is, thing to say is, is I'm bad. sorry I can't help you with that exactly. thank you for coming to DTLT but no I no, cannot help you I'm sorry <laughs> thank you but I mean, <laughs> two minutes and this two is, more minutes of this. And this might be this, as better uh, than anything you Tim Owens slam has fast, done. But <laughs> um, so, do blogs suck in higher ed? Well, let's I mean, get back to the question. We can, you know, we can change that if we want to. So, yeah, do, go ahead. Do blogs suck in higher ed? Do you think they suck? I think for the very reason. Because here we are, we're morning. UMW. UMW blogs. Everybody says, oh, you know, you blog such a great example. Well, Blogging in higher ed. You obviously don't think UMW blog sucks. There's I lots don't. of amazing stuff happening there, but there when is. you look around at the kinds of work that's going on there, what do you think is the biggest problem you see? Well, I think one of the things that I see, one of the things that's interesting to me is some of the greatest work doesn't happen in classes at all. It happens when students study abroad and they right. want to share stuff back with their family right. and they want to do stuff. They're taking images and they're thinking about their learning in different ways where that space really becomes their own. Right. Some of the classes, I think, and this is a failure of DTLT, it's a failure of the university system, it's a failure, I think, in general. You don't think of that classwork as part of a larger whole of what you're doing as a student, as a thinker, and as a community. And it's time for us to integrate that more cleanly. And I think that's why blogging, when it does suck, does suck at the, at the university level. It just seems so disconnected from everything else you're doing. From the space in which it's existing. I mean, right. that's part of it. I mean, that's a huge part of it. It is. And, I mean, we need to make a push why it's not, make it yeah. more apparent to everybody who's in that space, and also, you know, eat a little bit of our own dog food and understand how that works, yeah. you know, for us. And yeah. I, I think we're that close. That's yeah. the only thing I'm excited yeah. about. We're not yeah. far. So maybe blogs. Oh, you were don't so cute. Stuck in higher ed. Oh. I know it's the magic. No, but I still think. Technology. I mean, I don't think we're wrong. Twenty-four seconds. I do think there's a lot of suck. In there's a lot of suck. Blogs. We got to change the suck. We got to. <laughs> yeah. We got to fix the suck. Un unsuck the suck. Stop sucking. Suck. <laughs> like is that Volkswagen Stop sucking ad? More. So if you do tune in next time, you know, if you decide that this has been worth it or that we yeah. may have some answers in the future. DTLT today does not suck. No. No. So That's thanks, it. everybody. Outro. See you later. Timmy boy.